All right. Yo, yo, what's good, everybody? Took a, you know, took a week off. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, took a week off. I was supposed to upload on Monday or Tuesday, Tuesday and Friday. That's what I chose. But uh, yeah, I took a week off. Got really busy with work and, you know, a lot of recording and stuff right now. But yeah, so today's video is going to be, I think it's going to be a little bit longer than usual. We'll see how fast I get through it. But basically, I am going to potentially try to get as far as I can with a mix um, that I'm about to start. So, but yeah, so I'm going to try to get as far as I can with this mix. I'll try my best to like talk and break down what I'm doing. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think my mic's clipping. Fuck. One second. All right. My mic should be fixed now. But yeah, this song is by an artist that I work with a lot. His name is Vishal. It, he is, I don't want to mispronounce this, but Punjabi. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be like Punjabi rap, basically. But uh, I'm just kind of like, I just always mix off a of feeling. You know what I mean? Especially with rap, like you kind of have like a feeling of where to put drops, where to put reverb throws, delay throws, stutters, whatever the case is. And what I realized with this is that even though I don't know what he's saying, this, this shit real quick, this shit right here, fucking terrible, brother. Don't get it. If you drink Olipop, this is not a good alternative. It tastes like shit. Sorry. I, I don't even want to sponsor. So if they try to sponsor me. I'm sorry, but uh, I kind of just like mix off feeling with his stuff. You know, I don't, I don't try to like figure out what he's saying or anything, which is pretty cool. Cause then that's how you kind of um, realize that, you know, music is universal, I guess. It's kind of like a feeling, which I think 90% of the time or 95, I would even say you should definitely be mixing with feeling and try not to think about the technical stuff too much. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm going to attempt to try to get as far as I can because I don't want to make this video like hella long. Like it's probably gonna end up being like 30 minutes. I don't know. We'll see. But um keep subscribing. We're almost at 500. I'm like 50 away. Um it's like every day there's like two, two or three subscribers. So keep going. Uh I would appreciate it. Cause then we'll reach our goal by the end of the year, which is awesome. And then also don't forget that I have a an exclusive discount with PSP Audio. So shout out to PSP Audio for uh, giving me a giving me an exclusive code that I was able to give to you guys on YouTube, pretty much anywhere, but you know mostly YouTube because uh, that's where a lot of my you know fans, I guess, or whatever. I don't know. I don't really know what to call them uh, when you're a YouTuber, but am I a YouTuber? No, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so yeah, if you use code Tolbert10, my last name, T-O-L-B-E-R-T-10, um, you will get 10% off. Yeah, you're at checkout. So I'll make sure to link that in the description and put it somewhere on the screen, I guess. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But anyways, don't forget to use that code. Also, don't forget to use my Waves code, which is linked below if you buy through the link in my description through waves i think you also get 10 percent off um, and then i get a little kickback for the channel for both of those things so you know it's a win-win and then it allows me to hopefully keep buying uh stuff to show you guys in the future let's uh let's start this so this song doesn't really have a name yet because it's not out so i don't know maybe this move this maybe this song will get pulled down uh in a couple months i don't know we'll see so yeah, you know, some English words that uh, you will get to understand or whatever. But um, anyways, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just start going in and doing some cleanup. That's like really the first thing I like to do. Um, like I said, I'll try to talk as much as I can. Um, real quick background uh, for the recording chain is that this was through my Apollo Twin, and I was using the Manly Reference Cardioid microphone, and I was using the Manly Vox Box on this, which I have mentioned before in this channel that I uh, like to use that every now and then, or like when I just don't feel like patching in gear and just want to kind of move in quickly. Um, that's what I used on this. And I used a little bit of EQ um, on the top. And I think I took out a little bit of low mids. 
and I used the de-esser on it, which I said, I think I'd mentioned, uh, if you can use the de-esser while recording on the way in and you feel confident, uh, definitely use it because it's very helpful. So I use a little bit of de-essing and I definitely use some compression on the way. And you can kind of see really pretty even uh, waveform. So you can see that compression was definitely used on the way in. Um, so yeah, let's, let me start with, let's see, I mean, kind of like to start anywhere, but this is mostly vocal. So I'm just going to go for it and I'm going to actually, I'm going to start organizing, uh, all the stems. So let's do that. So do this and I'll mute the vocals and then I'll kind of just put it in loop and then just kind of go through and clip gain everything, give everything enough juice and, um, yeah, so So this might be, it might be, you know, this is gonna have some drums. I have a limiter on just for the video's uh, output so it doesn't clip YouTube. So but like I said, this might get loud. I'll slowly turn it up. So yeah, with 808s, I usually, or I'll talk about it in a second. But all the clips, when I'm clip gaining, as you can see that I'm doing, I like to um, make sure that everything is averaging about 10 uh, on there just because it's like it's like a good amount for my brain uh, to know that when I run plugins or even gear um, if I am doing outboard stuff that I know that they are receiving a proper amount of um, signal so I feel like 10 is like the sweet spot you know, like I said, average about 10. And then I'll just go ahead and pan it while I'm here. Link these, because I like to pan stuff. Um, huge fan of panning, make room for stuff. All right, let's see what we got. So, it uh, looks like this comes in first. Like I said, this is mostly like organization. You'll see how my brain works, hopefully. So we'll just call this, uh, Violin one. That's how I'm gonna abbreviate it. That's how I abbreviate violin for my own sessions. It's two. Let's see what this is. Probably a top. Yeah. So we'll just call this three violin three. And like I said, loop this. A lot of violins. I think um, the reference, uh, which may or may not be pretty, pretty direct, was the Monaco song from uh, Bad Bunny's latest album, as of this video, 2023, whatever this is. So I think it's uh, pretty, pretty on the nose. So here's hi hat. And then obviously, since this is another hi-hat, um, you know, since I've been painting all the hi-hats to the left, I can see that there's obviously multiple layers of hi-hats doing different things. So, you know, I don't want to like make all the hi-hats, especially if there's not that much stereo stuff uh, to mess with. Um, you know, let's, let's just go ahead and pan it the opposite way. Yeah, see, this one's like going that way. A lot of hi-hats. I might be, we'll see. I mean, I don't usually, I think I've said this before. I try to keep everything the producer did. But if I feel really strongly about something that I think could help 
make bring clarity in the track or something, then I will, you know, suggest removing stuff or whatever. So we'll see. Um, okay, so that's that. What's this little thing? A little crash or something? Okay. So that's doing some panning stuff, which is cool. So we'll leave that as it is. This looks like it might be another thing. Yeah. I feel like I got boogers. Fuck. Okay, it's like a little. I don't know what that is. Little, little sound effect, I don't know. Oh shit, that's clipping, okay. So we'll call this sound effect. You know, we're just looking for an average, so peak is whatever. Open hi hat, there we go, okay, okay. And hi hat one. I like to put numbers and stuff because I know, especially with like uh, modern production, it seems like, uh, which I understand, but just seems like a lot of layering of stuff, which I get to an extent and depending on what it is, it can be, you know, the theory is that it will sound more full and whatever, but sometimes... That's not the case. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes it's just better to keep it a little bit less, more simple. You know what I mean? Like not too stripped down. You want to find the fine line, but sometimes it's like not necessary to do all these little things or maybe, you know, just combine them on one track. I don't know, but we'll see. It's kind of like with the hi-hat I was talking about earlier, how there's two hi-hats layered on top of each other. probably would have live streamed this but like I just don't feel like I mean I know I, I would have some people that would tune in but like I don't want to do something where I don't know where it's like not fucking uh just more than 20 people you know what I'm saying like I'd rather have like a bunch of people at least like a hundred. At least a hundred. I feel like a hundred's good. All right, what's this? Another open hi hat for see. Like I feel like this this stuff could have been on the same track, but that's like the that's like the problem with um the, the a lot of producers I work with use like splice and stuff, but that's like the downside of this stuff. It's like the drag and drop. Like for sure it's a vibe, but also it'd be nice to just take the time and just I don't know. Like this, like this might be another hi hat, right? Yeah, see, so it's like, I don't know. I feel like sometimes it's necessary. Just like everything doesn't need to be stereo all the time. Like I, I'm assuming that's what the the theory is, because there's a left and a right. We we'll just call this perk, the classic trap trap perk. Also, I've been cooking up lately, so let me know if y'all want to see that. Um, yeah, I've been cooking up late. I use FL Studio. Yeah, see, it's just some static. Like, just put it on the track. You know what I'm saying? Like, on the actual track, so it prints on it. Like, it's just, like, it's just little tedious things that could speed stuff up. But, you know, it is what it is. Can't have everything. And this is probably tag. Vic, you went crazy. Yeah, shout out my boy Vic. It says uh, Vishal's little cousin. He's like 16 or 17. Crazy. Or not even. I think he's like 15. But dude's cooking up. Okay. So now let's start. Now next, since I got everything pretty much gained, um, where I you know, want stuff to be, um, I'm just going to put everything in its folders. And like this is like, this situation is a little bit different too because I know there's like, you know, obviously if I were to do this like 
on a more mainstream song or like a label thing. Not that this is any different, but usually with that kind of stuff, like you're working with more uh, established producers and music people. And like with that kind of stuff, like obviously I don't want to, especially if it's very clear and they make it very clear that they like what they have already. Like the last thing I want to do is go in and restructure the gain and stuff on certain stuff. Like at that point it is what it is. And this is more of, I, I do this when I have, when I am confident and it's very obvious that I have full control over like what I want to do and how I want to do things within the session or like however I want to mix it. So that's why this is a little bit different. Cause usually, like I said, if this was something where it's like, Hey, we just need that extra 5% on this song. Then the last thing I'm going to do is go through and do all this. Cause usually all this stuff is already done anyways, like the cleanup and all that. Yeah. I mean, that's like the last thing you want to do is unless you have like a really good relationship with the artist. Actually, I'm going to put this in drums. Why not? Like in this case I do. And then, yeah, like I said, that's a different story too. But if you're just like coming in at the last minute, to do something, then that's definitely the last thing you want to do. All right, and let's get these color coded because I'm a color code freak. Let's do this, send this to the crack bus. Let's hide this because we don't need it because we're not using any brass. This is already going to strings, so let's do that. You know what would be cool if Pro Tools with the folder thing, maybe other dolls do this, but it would be cool if when you drop the tracks in the folder, you can have a setting in the preferences where it will automatically set the output to that uh, folder's input. If you're using an auxiliary folder like I do. Perk bus. That would be just, it would just save up just a little second. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, like I said, so since I have full control over this and I know them very well and they kind of let me do my thing, um, I just go through and restructure the gain and stuff. And you know, and if I wanted to keep uh, the, you know, the, the structure that they bounced, like meaning the gain structure and like all the volume moves that they kept or felt strong about it, um, you know, I would just go through and like, if I clip gain something up 10 dB, then I would turn the fader down 10 dB. You know what I'm saying? Just so like it keeps like the static mix that they uh, kept it at. But you know, like I said, it's mostly like a me thing. Like I just, it just makes me feel because the last thing I want to do is like add a shitload of gain within the plugin or, uh, you know, anything like that. Like I just want to go in and just start mixing. Like I don't want to worry about doing it. Usually I would do this on a different day or like a couple hours before I would start the mix. I would go in and this would be like my mix prep is what I call it. I'll make a new session or I'll save the session as a new session and call it mix prep. Do all this shit that I'm doing right now. And then step away, go get some food or whatever, and then come back and make a save it as again as you know the first mix, mix one, and then I'll go through and just mix, and then I don't have to worry about doing all this. Sometimes it's good to have like fresh ears. So next thing now, assuming I'm in mix mode now, I like to I got this technique from Jakir King, probably one of my favorite. Uh, recording engineers. I just like his story and stuff. I, you know, tried to read as much as I could about him uh, when I was learning how to mix and record and all that shit. Watch like everything pretty much that's out there. I still do. Um, but I learned this thing and I'm not sure where he got this from or if he made it up himself. I'm not saying that this is his technique that he came up with, but um, you know, and I'm sure it's not exactly what he talks about or how he talks about it um it's all over the internet you can look it up but um just the gist of it i like the idea because it gets me started and it makes me and it always usually worked it's always usually like a rough area of where the bass um and kick should be sitting in the track basically so obviously you can't see this but here i'll actually yes you can because i have it right here so instead of using this, I'm going to put my 14. I have this preset that sets my VU meters to 14. I'm using the uh, the SSL UF1 right here off camera, off to the side, which I don't like the setup, but you know, um, this is like, this is just my home setup. Usually I would be at the studio. So let's put on, hold this, down. there we go. All right, so I got my meters. 
Um, so basically the theory is, is that you start with your base. Like I said, this is all over the internet. He goes into way more detail and stuff. This is kind of just the gist. And I could be missing some stuff, but it's just like I remember these important parts, at least that were important to me. And I've, I've been using them ever since. So you start with bass, in this case an 808. And like I said, I've already set all my clip gain and stuff, making sure that there's an average about 10 for all of the uh, signal from each instrument coming through. So assuming you got all this done, um, I will bring the fader down until the needle is about average around three, basically. And like I said, I'm set to negative 14. Um, so depending on what your reference is, but I like to do negative 14 because I like a little bit more like in between some headroom But not too much headroom. You know what I mean? So First thing like I said every bass is different an 808 is gonna be different from a synth bass a synth bass is gonna be different from a um, you know bass guitar or whatever and So, you know, it's kind of like just take this with a grain of salt. It's kind of just you just got to know the instrument very well um, but in this case I feel pretty confident especially I, I have it's important I have my headphones set to a certain level where I know that if I can still hear it at this level and it's still kind of shaking my headphones if that makes sense like I said I'm used to all this setup so it just depends on your setup really uh, then you'll know that you're in the sweet spot so I know for sure that this even though this is like not a bass guitar or whatever like I know what those elements should feel like on my ears basically so like i said we're just looking for an average you can see it gets around two when it hits the high notes of the 808 but this is just an average so get your bass set to about three assuming that we're on the same reference scale or same reference sorry uh so yeah there's that around uh three so this doesn't have, actually have a kick but let's say i did have a kick right basically uh i would take the fader of that kick and either bring it in this case it most likely be bringing it down i would bring it down until the needle starts hitting around zero you know what i mean so it's like the basically at the time of when the 808 and the kick hit at the same time their level should be um hitting at zero db or db or whatever you know basically in this case it should be hitting zero um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, but yeah, basically that's the idea and then kind of Like you would kind of know like okay, cool. I know that Averagely my bass and my kick are in a good spot not saying that that's the spot They should be set at by the end of the mix or by the song or throughout the mix, but it's just a good starting point So, you know try it. Hopefully that helps um, All right, cool. So in this case, like I said don't have a kick so Let's just start bringing up some faders. So I like to get a balance first. That's the important thing. That's fine. Let's see what this is. Is this that? Okay. We'll kind of get that panned in a second. We'll see how the rest of the instruments sound. So let's see. So let me take this off because I got to make sure there's no panning in. Oops. I got to make sure there's no panning in the high. Okay, there isn't. So we can go back. Because sometimes the, you know, the producers will do a left and right pan or whatever. Um, just as part as part as the performance. And, you know, if you're listening on speakers, this might sound a little bit weird. It might not sound panned enough or whatever, but in my headphones, um, just kind of referencing that. Like I said, I would, uh, after the mix, I would reference um, other sources too. So let's actually do this. And then, you know, you want to utilize the serial field as much as possible. At least that's the way I like to work. Kind of make room for stuff. Don't be scared to pan. Pan. I feel like panning is like a lost art. Everything used to be panned. If you listen to old stuff, fucking bass was panned to the left and drums were on the right or whatever the case was at some point, you know, before we had stereo at least. Yeah, 
see like this shit it's kind of funny it's like the same thing you know what i'm saying but you know if they're going for a stereo thing i get it let me turn this down all right so let's do this Okay. Take this shit off. This unmute that. Like I said, you know, it's it's better to do things. The worst thing you can do is they tell you that they don't like it. You know what I mean? Like, I would say try to do as much as your creative stuff as you can. Um, mute this. I can mute this. Like. Like I said, this is just a general balance. This isn't like something I'm going to stick with throughout the mix. I'm just trying to get shit out the way. Okay, that's cool. Okay. All right, all those sound good, to be honest. So let's keep moving. Let's see what's, let's see what this, this is about. Mute that. See, and that's gonna be the tricky part about this because like I mean even though they're like all sounding stereo um, to an extent like they still kind of are like fighting for space in the middle you know what I mean like really what I would like to do is do this but I know like, you know, modern, modern producers and stuff aren't, think it's weird when they hear this, you know what I mean? But it's like, that's the stuff that like, I feel like makes songs interesting is like, and more, and more real, it makes everything sound a little bit more real, you know, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it because that'll be my argument. Be like, look, everything can't be stereo or in the middle. Like, make some room for the vocals and drums and all that. And then let's do this. See, because now the hi-hats opened up a little bit. Even though I don't have everything in, I mean, just doing that, like, the hi-hats have their own space. Even though they're still panned, you know what I'm saying? I can keep that stereo for now. And then, let's see what this is. turn up the static but yeah i mean i get why the static wasn't printed on there but still you know what i'm saying like just save you a little bit more, more energy turn this off all right let's get this vocal balanced in Bajdi B, Lubita made a feet, cat on the career feet, Munda elite, Kendia Karna meat, in a vihani ga sweet, trap a jigit, pali a cube in a link, lucky made a kit of wheat, made a jane, did I miss on you got could it just know that I'm packing the heat? Tera tech up can asa die comani kiss a vichy the sadu ku gamani body the gain a la taka pick at do shake me tear to sada ku chamani pin de a chaja fi pin de a ramani. So now what I'd like to do at this point, I can do this two ways. I mean, lately I've been mixing with everything in and just going through and EQing stuff like theoretically that's what you want to do because you know like no one's ever going to hear these sounds solo no one's ever going to hear them individually every time they hear the song it's everything's going to be in so it's like you know why would you not want to mix with everything in like obviously you do want to like focus on stuff all the time but 
you would think or it would make sense like I don't know 90% of the time you want to be mixing with everything in which I have been doing and I've done in a few songs and it's been very helpful and I think it's been making things sound more natural um or there's the other way which is what I'm used to doing which is just imp uh, mixing with the important stuff first and then building around those elements so in this case it would be drums bass and vocals but with this since it's, since it's such a minimal track i think i'm going to try to mix with everything in and see how it goes so let's try that budget be loop it on media feed got on the get here feed when i need can be a certain i need in the vihani ga sweet trap je ki bali a kid no nahi lakhe mere ki tavi mere janne jeda main sonju ga kude just know that i'm packing the heat tera touch up karna sada hai kam nahi kise vi cheez da sab koi kam nahi body the 808 it's like sometimes i see people or i've even seen videos even of like kind of popular engineers i'm not saying they're wrong and i'm not saying this is wrong but i am i do realize that a lot of these especially with the splice stuff um and even before that but you know now that splice has made samples more it seems like it's more important um it always has been important but it's like more than ever now cuz anybody can kind of really put a track together with those kind of programs um is that a lot of this stuff is already processed so and been EQ'd and been distorted and compressed and whatever so it's like sometimes i just feel like leaving the samples alone especially 808 it's like i mean i seen this one like i said very popular engineer where he was like i'm not saying he's wrong maybe he has way better ears than me but i'm there was just like little movements like this where he's like yeah you hear that like i don't like that so let me do that you know let me do this or whatever and i'm just like I don't know if I actually hear that like at all and I was like listening on a pretty good system um you know like a full range system at the studio and I was just like I don't know I feel like sometimes uh you're just kidding yourself you know um like I said I think with samples and stuff it's like stuff has been processed so much and been manipulated so much and been through so many tracks and whatever that it's like I feel like a lot of these sounds that's another reason why some sound banks sound better than others it's just because maybe they just happen to get a pack of um samples that just i don't know already have been like mixed and mastered and limited and all that stuff already where um it just already sounds good you know what i mean so i think that's de there's definitely some like some of that stuff that happens with this these kind of uh samples where you, I just feel like it's unnecessary like kind of maybe just leave the samples alone for a little bit and mix around those or just mix them and then see what happens first before you reach for like an EQ but like this 808 hitting pretty hard you know so um I'm just going to leave it alone But I am gonna cut some low end out because there, there is a little bit of that stuff under 20 hertz that I don't need. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Let's do it. 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 Let's do
signal, I guess, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard to tell by looking at it. Not that you would want to judge it by that, but sometimes you can. And it are, and you know, 808s are pretty like contained for the most part, unless there's some crazy 808s, you know what I'm saying? They have a shitload of bass, but this sounds pretty controlled. So I'm not looking for, I'm not looking to even these uh, 808s out. I'm just kind of looking for a little bit more control on those initial hits. Just catching those peaks, you know? Especially when he does like the fast, like, I think it's coming up. Dun, 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 that part. Yeah, just kind of like want to keep those tan. I don't want those to poke out in the track, basically. the whole session yeah I did fuck did I oh no I didn't okay that was weird all right Such a long intro. Budgety beat, Lubitum made a feed, got on the career feed, Munda elite, Gendi a Karana meat, in a Vihani Gasweet, Trapper Jigit, Bali a Cuban link, Laki made a kit of wheat, Mera Jane, Jeda Meson Yuga could just know that I'm packing the heat. Tera types of Kanasa die, Gamani kiss every cheese of the Sanduku Gamani body, the Ganala Daka Picada do Shaka and Jiru Jusada could Jamani pin there, Jaja Fipin there, Ramani, Chilamord, Koi Kamani Laga hip, Dasta Kalip, the Soda made a care to get your Dramani. Mirza Niji the Tutu Juti. Sounds really weird. I, it sounds. I don't know. It's like down the middle, but then there's some stereo stuff. Oh, we'll Lake, <laughs> 
I want a little bit of like, you know, the compressor adds some snap. Like that. that smack. I want that, but not as much. Like that. Usually, usually I would use this uh, bus compressor on the drum bus to compress the drums or the kick and the snare a little bit just to kind of keep them as a unit but since we don't have a kick we're kind of just focused on the snare for that and then i'm going to use this black box to kind of just add a, add a little bit more juice to the drums you know just a little bit and just to get a little bit more gain out of it It's got some character to it, but it's still clean, you know, it's like, it's like a very, I don't know, I always associate this with like a hi-fi kind of thing, which I'm sure it's not, but that's just like the impression that I get from it. the dynamics out of these strings this has some low mid stuff that i don't want just a little bit Let's see what this is about It'll work for now. Want this right here. Let's try the hit though. Kind of put the, like they already have reverb. But I want to put them in a different space. You know what I mean? Like sometimes, sometimes you can look as reverb. Obviously that's, that is, you know, the point is to put stuff in a different place, but sometimes uh, I think people forget that it is just, and sometimes I do too. Like sometimes you just think of reverb as reverb as, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like you just use reverb as reverb instead of trying to use reverb as space. Uh, sometimes if you think about it that way, you can come up with some really cool stuff. So that's kind of what I want to do here. You know, kind of just add some stereo to it. Here. Like even this, whatever this default is, is enough for me.
Trap is a geek, Pali a cube in the link Lock in my room, keep the weed, in my room, don't know Get out of my song, you got cool, just know that I'm back in the heat Your attack beat, you be Jabkana sada hai gama ni, kise vi chee jada sadhu koi gama ni Body te gain ala taka pe pad du, shake me jiru ju sada koi chama ni Peen leya jabkana sada hai gama ni, kise vi chee jada sadhu koi gama ni Body te gain ala taka pe pad du, shake me jiru ju sada koi chama ni That's where you can really hear like Will stuff clash, you know? Beat, loop it on media feet, got on the get a fleet, Munda elite, Gandhi a Karana meet, in a Vihani ga sweet, Trap is a geek, Pali a cube in the link, Lock in mirror, keep the read, Mirror Janay, get a Vajdi beat, loop it on media feet, got on the get a fleet, Munda elite. Vajdi beat, loop it on media feet, got on the get a fleet, Munda elite. See, this, this one. This UAD pulled, or not this one, what is it? The one that's like the full channel strip, uh, this one, the Pro. I don't know why this one didn't go native. Like, I kind of like that it's like, uh, I, you, you have both of them linked together in one plugin. Like, I don't know why they didn't do that for the... Uh, native one. Beat, loop it on media feet. Got on the get a fleet. Munda elite. Gandhi a Karana meet. In a Vihani ga sweet. Trap is a geek. Pali a cube in the link. Lock in mirror, keep the read. Mirror Janay. Get on my song, you got cool. They just know that I'm back in the heat. Tera tech feet. Loop it on media feet. Got on the get a fleet. Munda elite. Gandhi a Karana meet. In a Vihani ga sweet. Trap is a geek. Pali a cube in the link. Lock in mirror, keep the read. Mirror Janay. Get on my song, you got cool. They just know that I'm back in the heat. Tera tech feet. Loop it on media feet. Got on the get a fleet. Munda elite. Gandhi a Karana meet. In a Vihani ga sweet. Trap is a geek. Pali a cube in the link. Lock in mirror, keep the read. Mirror Janay. Get on my song, you got cool. They just know that I'm back in the heat. Tera tech feet. Loop it on media feet. Got on the get a fleet. Vajdi B, loop it on media feet Got on the get a fleet Munda elite, Gandhi a Karana meet In a Vihani ga sweet, trap is a geek Pali a cube in the link, lock in mirror, keep the read Mirror Janay, get on my song, you got cool They just know that I'm back in the heat Tera tech chapka na sada hai gama ni Kise vi chee jada sadhu koi gama ni Body te gain ala taka pe kaad du Shake me jiru ju sada koi gama ni I mean, to me, in my opinion By just getting a balance of everything And kind of going through and doing all the um, you know, EQing and compression that we did and just all the processing stuff on the actual instrumental with everything in, like, first of all, you get used to how it sounds and then you don't second guess yourself. Um, if obviously if there's still stuff poking out, then, you know, there's a problem, but working this way, um, I feel like can benefit you. Cause like I just said, you get used to, and you don't second guess yourself. And to me, like, I'm like, oh, this vocal actually is starting to come together and sit in the track a little bit better. And maybe I, that forces me to not feel like I need to do so much because I'm used to already hearing the song as a whole now. Like, you know what I mean? Like working this way has been very helpful, um, in my opinion, has been speeding stuff up and I've been doing a lot less. Not that I did a lot before. But I think mostly helping with like the second guessing stuff is um, helpful and kind of just now you can kind of hear that we're going to try to let this microphone, uh, you know, do its thing. And that's really what we're going to hear by the hopefully by the end of this track is mostly just the microphone itself and not really trying to reshape what we recorded because, the, the, you know, that Manly is a pretty it's expensive mic, but it's pretty good. So. Sometimes, like, obviously, you know, if you don't have the luxury, I guess, is that the right word, uh, to use a little bit nicer equipment, um, you know, you might just have to work a little bit harder, but sometimes that may just, um, that, or, you know, that's when you just need to go in and reshape some stuff for sure. Um, but, you know, like I said, like, I'm already getting used to how this sounds together and I'm kind of liking where the vocal is starting to sit and it's starting to find its own place, you know? So anyways, now let's kind of start to try to start on this vocal next. Vajdi B, loop it on media feet Got on the get a fleet Munda elite Gandhi a Karana meet In a Vihani ga sweet Trap is a geek Pali a cube in the link Lock in mirror, keep the read Mirror Janay Get on my song, you got cool They just know that I'm back in the heat Tera tech chapka na sada hai gama ni Kise vi chee jada sadhu koi gama ni Body te gain ala taka pe kaad du Shake me jiru ju sada koi chama ni Peen deya cha ja fe peen deya rama ni Chill mode koi kama ni Laga hip, dasta clip Te soda me rakhe a digi chai drama ni 
ਮੇਰੇ ਜ਼ਮੀ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਟੁੱਟ ਜੁਤੀਰ ਹੋਵੇ ਉਹ ਸੋਣੀ ਜਾਂ ਸਹਿਬਾ ਜਹੀਰ ਲੈ ਆਵੇ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਵੀਰ ਪਾੜ ਕੇ ਰੱਖ ਦੂ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਮੈਂ ਲੀਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੀ ਪੰਜ ਛੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਵੀਰ ਮਿੱਟ ਚ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਚੀਰ ਹਿੱਕ ਦੇ ਜੋਰ ਨਾ ਖਿੱਚ ਕੇ ਲੈ ਉਹਨੇ ਬਦਲ ਦੂ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਮੇਰੀ ਤਕਦੀਰ ਬਟ ਯੂਜੂਅਲੀ ਵੁਡਨ ਹਾਈ ਪਾਸ ਥਿਸ ਹਾਈ ਬਟ ਵੀ ਸਪੈਸੀਫਿਕਲੀ ਰਿਕਾਰਡਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਰੂਮ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਰੂਮ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਟ੍ਰੀਟਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਵੋਕਲ ਬੂਥ ਸੋ there's like a little bit of for sure some low end uh things in that room that I recorded in so i'm going a little bit higher on the high pass filter just uh, just to be safe budgety be you but on my feet got on the get your feet munda lead can be a karna meet in a vihani ga sweet tap the geek bali a given the link lock in it keep the read and also as you can see is that i did and i probably did this while we were recording i kind of went through and clip gain some stuff that maybe when we did punch ins he came in a little bit hotter or a little bit quieter on certain phrases or certain sections um of his verse or whatever so you know just want to point that out that it's important to go through at least in my opinion and try to make sure that the performance is as even as possible um as far as like overall um energy and signal and all that shit Yeah, I think recording with that DSR helps a lot. Like it already still sounds DS. Or controlled, you know. Which causes the post when I do post um DSing. You know, I don't have to do as much. God damn, been recording for an hour already. This video is going to be long as fuck. All right, let's try to run through these uh vocals real quick. But like I said, um I DS'd on the way in, so it's keeping me from using this um DSer post, you know, meaning now that I'm mixing the song, um I don't have to use it as much or I don't have to I don't so far I feel like I don't have to go in and manually DS stuff. <laughs> so, you know, a little bit of EQ, a little bit of filtering, a little bit of compression, you know, kind of just clamping onto that vocal. So let's do the next next compressor ਸੋਣੀ ਜਾਂ ਸਹਿਬਾ ਜਹੀਰ ਲੈ ਆਵੇ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਵੀਰ ਪਾੜ ਕੇ ਰੱਖ ਦੂ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਮੈਂ ਲੀਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੀ ਪੰਜ ਛੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਵੀਰ ਮਿੱਟ ਚ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਚੀਰ ਹਿੱਕ ਦੇ ਜੋਰ ਨਾ ਖਿੱਚ ਕੇ ਲੈ ਉਹਨੇ ਬਦਲ ਦੂ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਮੇਰੀ ਤਕਦੀਰ ਵੱਜਦੀ ਵੀ ਨੂੰ ਬਟਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਆ ਫੀਟ ਕਾਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਕਰੇ ਆ ਫੀਟ ਮੁੰਡਾ ਆ ਲੀਟ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਆ ਕਰਨਾ ਮੀਟ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਗਾ ਸਵੀਟ ਟੈਪ ਜੇ ਕੀ ਪਾਲੀ ਆ ਕੀ ਬਿਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਾ ਕੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਰੱਖੀ ਤਵੀਤ ਮੇਰੇ ਜਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੈਂ ਸੋਂਜੂਗਾ ਕੁੜੇ ਜਸ ਨੋ ਦੈਟ ਆਮ ਫੈਕ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਹੀ ਤੇਰਾ ਟੱਚ ਅਪ ਕਰਨਾ ਸਾਡਾ ਇਹ ਕੰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦਾ ਸਾਡੂ ਕੋਈ ਗਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਾਡੀ ਤੇ ਗੇਨ ਲਾ ਟੱਕ ਅਪ ਕੱਢ ਦੂ ਸ਼ੱਕ ਮੇ ਜੀਰ ਜੂ ਸਾਡਾ ਕੋਈ ਚਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੀਂਦੇ ਆ ਚਾਜਾ ਫੇ ਪੀਂਦੇ ਆ ਰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਿਲ ਮੋੜ ਕੋਈ ਕੰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਗਾ ਹੈ ਦਸ ਤੱਕ ਲੇਟ ਸੋ ਦਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜੀ ਡਰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੇਰੇ ਜ਼ਮੀ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਟੁੱਟ ਜੂ ਤੀਰ ਹੋਵੇ ਉਹ ਸੋਣੀ ਜਾਂ ਸਹਿਬਾ ਜਹੀਰ ਲੈ ਆਵੇ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਵੀਰ ਪਾੜ ਕੇ ਰੱਖ ਦੂ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਮੈਂ ਲੀਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੀ ਪੰਜ ਛੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਵੀਰ ਮਿੰਟ ਚ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਚੀਰ ਹਿੱਕ ਦੇ ਜੋਰ ਨਾ ਖਿੱਚ ਕੇ ਲੈ ਉਹਨੇ ਬਦਲ ਦੂ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਮੇਰੀ ਤਕਦੀਰ ਵੱਜਦੀ ਵੀ ਨੂੰ ਬਟਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਆ ਫੀਟ ਕਾਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਕਰੇ ਆ ਫੀਟ ਮੁੰਡਾ ਆ ਲੀਟ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਆ ਕਰਨਾ ਮੀਟ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਗਾ ਸਵੀਟ ਟੈਪ ਜੇ ਗੀਤ ਪਾਲੀ ਆ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਲਾ ਕੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਰੱਖੀ ਤਵੀਤ ਮੇਰੇ ਜਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੈਂ ਸੋਂਜੂਗਾ ਕੁੜੇ ਜਸ ਨੋ ਦੈਟ ਆਮ ਫੈਕ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਹੀ ਤੇਰਾ ਟੱਚ ਅਪ ਕਰਨਾ ਸਾਡਾ ਇਹ ਕੰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਗਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਾਡੀ ਤੇ ਗੇਨ ਲਾ ਟੱਕ ਅਪ ਕੱਢ ਦੂ ਸ਼ੱਕ ਮੇ ਜੀਰ ਜੂ ਸਾਡਾ ਕੋਈ ਚਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੀਂਦੇ ਆ ਚਾਜਾ ਫੇ ਪੀਂਦੇ ਆ ਰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਿਲ ਮੋੜ ਕੋਈ ਕੰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੋ ਆਮ ਜਸ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਆਮ ਗੋਨਾ ਚੂਜ਼ ਆਮ ਗੋਨਾ ਟਰਾਈ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਆਮ ਟਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਅ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਅਪਰੋਚ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਾਊ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ 
to uh, between that range, then hopefully it, it will engage that band and start pulling those frequencies down. And then if he came off the mic a little bit, then maybe then those bands would disengage and it wouldn't feel or it wouldn't need to react, you know what I'm saying, or, or do any processing instead of a static EQ where it's just like soon as if you know, if you cut 300, obviously it's a static EQ. So it's going to be cutting 300 across the board for the entire song. So instead of doing that, um, you know, I'm going to try to just finish mixing the vocals with just some dynamic EQ and try to keep a more natural performance, especially with rap. Like there's a lot more proximity with rap because they like the artists like to get really close to the mic um, for whatever reason. I mean, you know, it could just be, it's just a natural thing or whatever, but that's just the way it is. So it's like, I feel like sometimes you do have to work a little bit harder with rap vocals and trying to control that, especially if they complain that the vocals are too thin or too boomy, um, just trying to find that middle ground between too much, too much boom, you know, too, too boomy or too thin. So hopefully, you know, this doing it this way will help a lot with that. We'll see. I don't know. I'm trying it right now. try to keep it minimal let's see channel strip one de-esser technically two compressors because there's one on the channel strip but you know just an la2a and then one more eq slash maybe it's could still be considered a compressor i guess yeah so we'll try to just keep it to there and let's let's see what happens start adding some effects to the vocals some uh you know some stuff that i like to add width and depth with or whatever so Let's go. <laughs> I know, yeah, it's it's funny because we always go back and forth on this, but, you know, the artist, Fashal, he doesn't really like effects, but then, like, we'll, we'll request effects without realizing it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I know he doesn't really like reverb and delay, um, but, you know, then he'll ask for it without asking for it. So it's kind of funny, but if he sees this, he'll know what I mean. Um, but that's like another thing with rap too. And, it, and it's just specifically, I think a rap thing is they don't rappers don't like a lot of reverb and delay, unless obviously you're Travis Scott or even like young thug or something. Um, but a lot of, I think it's more specific to like trap rap. Um, don't really like a lot of effects, but sometimes as the engineer, I think it's important to try to sneak those in can hear the ambulance try to sneak those effects in because those things add depth and can make stuff sound a lot bigger 
or especially vocals, you know, um, which is like one of the most important things. So trying to sneak those in, but where they can hear it, but also if it goes missing, uh, then hopefully the artist will be like, okay, cool, put it back. Cause now it sounds boring or whatever the case is, you know. sake of the video i will which is what i don't usually do but i will mute it or solo it so, so i mean you can hear that usually my goal too with this and i got this from uh because i agreed with it i just never said it out loud but i watched this video of greg wells where he said like something along the lines like where he noticed that I think it was like CLA or something that um, there was so many effects on the vocals, but you could never hear it until you would hit, if you hit stop on the thing and obviously the effects would continue to play in the DAW or in Pro Tools or whatever, which like this, like you wouldn't hear it until you hit stop like that, like in real time. Um, he just thought that that's like the way or thinks that's the way, unless his philosophy, philosophy has changed. Um, he thinks that's as much effects as should be on there unless it's like reverb or if it's intentional basically but if it's not if it's more of like a, a space thing or um adding you know some stereo-ness to it or whatever the case is depth and width um those kind of things should be subtle you know so usually i mean i kind of just ran with that and because i agreed with it i was like i don't think you want to hear them it's more about just feeling them so Usually that's the goal, but yeah, so you can definitely hear the reverb makes a huge difference and obviously the slap and all that that I have going on. It's and then you know adding a little bit of dimension d and a little bit of doubler and you know, depending on like how i'm feeling or if i honestly it's if, if i remember to do it or if i just feel like it's necessary depends on how much energy a, a song has sometimes after i get the drums and vocals and bass going um i will just mix into a stereo bus compressor in this case obviously i didn't do it um but you know i just wanted to note like I, this song i just also felt like it not necessary i can apply it after and uh because i don't think the stereo bus as far as compression goes, it's going to be necessary to really make this, give this song energy. It's just like more of a laid back, chill song. You know what I'm saying? At least in my opinion for a rap song. But if it feels like a rock song or something, then utilizing uh, the stereo bus while you're mixing can make a huge difference while you're mixing into it, at least in my opinion. 
Vajdi B, you bit on my feet, car on the career feet. So just putting on this limiter. In the Akarna meet, in the Vihani Kashin, Kajik, 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 Kajik,
Stupid on me, they feet. Got on the career feet. Munda elite. Gandhi a karna meet. In a vihani ga sweet. Dapa ja geet. Pali a cube in the link. Lock him at a kit the weed. Mirror ja name. Get a mess on you got good. Just know that I'm packing the heat. Get a touch up and I sat down. Come and eat. Say we cheat the sun to go down and eat. Body the gain a lot. Duck up a card to do shack him and cheat. Juice at a quick jam and eat. Been there a charge of a pin there a ramen. There is a need. So let's bring these down because these are essentially the same. Um, let me do this because it's gonna fuck with my head. Put these here. Uh, do this. Put that there, and then bring these back up. And then put this there. Put this there. This there. And now we'll do this. Cool, 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 cool. See, there's a lot of uh, chest in this because he's a little bit closer to the mic. So. So you can hear there's something out of the range of the band that I made for the stuff up there. Um, so obviously this is not going to work. So so maybe I move these a little bit more down. Uh, why is this on? This is on. I think I think I'm gonna stop there because I think I gotta really lock in to get to start saucing this up but I think just as far as like showing how to get a good balance and how to start a mix and hopefully like the um what's it called like the you know theory is theory the right word I don't know you know like my my approach to how I would get started and stuff and my thinking when I'm bringing in different elements and all that stuff um, hopefully this like helps somebody out there. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so anyways, yeah, I think I'm going to stop there though. Cause I also need an ear break cause it's been like an hour and a half almost getting there. Um, but yeah, hopefully this was like helpful, you know, hopefully you got to see a lot and this helps if you're just starting mixing and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, let me know like what y'all want to see next and, you know, share, like, keep subscribing, use those codes, uh, from waves and from PSP audio. They're both good companies. Um, I'm more of a fan of PSP audio. They have really good stuff. And also they have 50% off their entire store as of this video. So go get some plugins from them because they're really good. And I feel like they're still like small enough where they're still like it's cool to know about them, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Instead of uh, supporting the the bigger companies. Um, not that they're not a big company, but, you know, um, they're definitely not on everybody's radar. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to head out. So peace. <laughs>